CBAI. Hey all, this is Cam with CBAI. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how to add an instrument to uploaded audio in Suno. You do need the Premiere Plan subscription to do this because it requires Suno Studio. Let's jump in there and I'll show you how to do it. <clears throat> the first thing you need to do is upload your audio as a new track. You can do that either by going down to the bottom left area here under Upload or you can click on the Upload bud Audio button in the context bar. I'll click that now. So I have a previously recorded alto sax part as a dot wave file. Let's pull that in. All right. So now you'll see that it is created a new track for me and it is up um, says uploading audio uploading in the uh, track header and then over on the right hand side it should say something to the effect of analyzing right here. So I'll wait for the the track to analyze itself for a moment. All right. So now my audio has uploaded quick tip something I noticed is that when you're generating the audio make sure that you know your music your recorded audio is actually set on the downbeat of the song um, that may look differently depending on what kind of variables you have in your music but for me I need to pull it over here I found that out a little bit ago when I was trying a previous take of this recording let's make sure that that's lined up okay that should be fine I'm gonna go ahead and delete the extra space on the front here all right so let me give you uh, a listen to 15, 20 seconds or so of this track so you get an idea of what it sounds like before we add the next instrument in here. Have play now. Alright, so there's my recorded audio. What I'm going to do today is add a nice keyboard part as an accompaniment to this track. So what I'm going to do to generate that audio is going to go down to the bottom left here under Add Track. Click on that. Now I have a new track available to me. You'll see that because I haven't selected any section of the timeline yet, it's going to have a grayed out create button so make sure that you select a section that you want to add for your instrument part it can be short or it can be long so as you can see I've selected a small section and it's available I'm gonna go ahead and just generate it for the whole thing alright so now I have my section selected and then my next step is I'm gonna put my prompt in here in the context bar or rather actually the first step is to click on the drop down menu and choose the type of instrument you want to add. It has defaulted to song, but I don't want that. I want to choose keyboard. So I'm going to do that now. If you wanted to be able to access the slider bars and exclude styles, click this expand contract button up here and you'll have a wider view in your in add an instrument feature. So I'm going to go ahead and copy paste in a prompt I know works well for this uh, piece of recording. And then I'm going to leave the sliders and exclude styles uh, blank for now and the same. So we'll go ahead and create and it's going to generate two additional um, keyboard parts of generated audio. So we'll wait for those to load once I hit this create button here. All right, now my keyboard parts have loaded up. The way that you're going to access them is in take lanes. So in my um, my track, you can see that it updated itself to keyboard and to the icon of the keyboard here. You can either click on this kind of notification type bar, or you can click on the dot 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 and go down to show take lanes, and then it will show your your additional generated audio. So let's go ahead and listen to both versions. One thing before I do that to note is that it is going to default, I believe it is to version 1, will default into your main track, but you can listen to either one by clicking on the audio of that particular uh, take lane and then giving it a listen. So let's check it out and see uh, if it lined up pretty well to my recorded audio. <laughs>
Sounds good. I like it. All right, let's check out version two. Not the whole thing, just let you hear that there's another option here. Okay, so that is how to add an instrument, add a new instrument generated part to your uploaded audio in Suno. If you found this video helpful, please give me a subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to keep getting notified of new how-to videos. Share this with your friends, leave a comment below, any video ideas you'd like to me to make, uh, click the like button as well. And until next time, this is Cam with CBAI, thanks for tuning in, hope you have a good one, and take care.